So this is your pelvic floor workout. Now I'm not gonna do any explanation, we're gonna get straight into doing your pelvic floors. You don't need to be watching me right now, you just need to be listening to me. Hopefully you've already watched your pelvic floor masterclass so you know how to connect your pelvic floor. We're gonna start off with a series of lifts. We're going to do this like a lift going up through five floors. So I'd like you to take a nice big deep breath, inhale. As you exhale, relax. You're going to connect your pelvic floor, lifting up from your back passage to your front passage, drawing those two feelings together and up inside you. As you do that, I want you to connect your sit bones, drawing in through those two points. Now, talking of sitting, I want you to make sure as you do that, that you are sitting nice and tall. If you are looking at me right now, you'll notice that I'm sat on blocks. If you can sit on blocks, great, or some equivalent of, we can have a pile of books and that's all, all good. But do not worry, you can be sat on the bus, on the train, in your car. If you are able to, move towards the edge of your seat so you can feel your sit bones, pull your butt cheeks out of the way and sit up tall. And if all you can do is sit up tall, then that's absolutely fine. So let's take another breath, breathe again, inhale. As you exhale, relax, find your pelvic floor, pulling up from your back passage to your front passage, draw those two feelings in together and also pull up through your sit bones and lift up and then come up, and then come up, and up, and all the way to fifth floor, which is as high as you can go. And then relax it back down. And then you're gonna do that again. Take a nice big deep breath for me, inhale. Exhale, as you exhale, relax, and then pull up from the back passage to the front passage, draw those two feelings in together, pull up and in through your sit bones, and come up, that's 20% of your effort. Come up, that's 40%, come up, 60 and if you can up to 80 that's fourth floor and then fifth floor is 100% pulling all the way up and then you're going to slowly let it relax and come back down and then we're going to do that again take a nice big deep breath inhale exhale relax and then connect from the back passage to the front passage pull those two feelings in and come up and up and up if you can come up and then all the way to the top, don't worry if you can't get there, and then release and come back down. Let's do that again, take another breath for me, inhale. Exhale and relax. And then pull up from the back passage to the front passage, draw those two feelings in together, and then pull up, and pull up, and pull up, and keep pulling up if you can, and then all the way to the top. If you can, don't worry if you can't get there, and then release and let it come down. We're gonna do this exercise one more time. Take a nice big deep breath for me, inhale. Exhale, relax. And then start from the back passage to the front. So stop a fart, stop a wee, pull those two feelings in together, pull up and in through your sit bones and come up and come up. Think of sitting up taller as you come up. For your tummy coming in as you pull up, all good. And then all the way up to the top and then let it release and come down, well done. So we're gonna go on to our next exercise now, which is your quick flick exercise. We're gonna do a series of these, and then you'll be done for this workout. So take a nice big deep breath for me, inhale. Exhale, relax. You're gonna flick your pelvic floor on, and then you're gonna flick it off and release. Take another breath, inhale. Exhale, relax, and flick it up and on, and then let it release. And then again, take another breath, inhale. Exhale, relax. And you're gonna flick it up and on, pull it up, and then let it release. We're gonna do that again, take a nice big deep breath, inhale. Exhale, relax. Flick up with your pelvic floor, flick it on, and then let it release. Do that for me one more time. Take a nice big deep breath, inhale. Exhale, relax. And then flick your pelvic floor on, and then let it release. Well done. 